hate all of you. Not really, but you know. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight. That was very creepy how you said that, Akihiko. It's a practical Tim Burton tower. We haven't had one of those in one of my Let's Plays for a while. Unless you count in the other Persona 3 LP. That's been like a day. But still, point is there. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. It looks like a tower, not a maze, but that's just me nitpicking. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. So let's see what happens when Jinpei stays in there all night and then it becomes daytime again. That's what I'm curious about. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Probably, probably overly so, but we'll figure that out as the game goes on. We're only in the first month. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. God, you're such a bitch. She knows. Christ. I know. You don't have to remind me. See? He knows. Thump thump. Yeah, you heard it. You heard the game. Thump thump. just as cool on the inside. I'd say cooler, actually. I like the uh, motif of the inside of this place. But it sure is creepy. That's what makes it cool, Yukari. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First, we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? Yes, we're the three newest members. Of course, we, we should go by ourselves. The best of plans! We're not asking you to go very far. Only the 30th floor. And I'll be feeding you information from here. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. If Junpei... N uh... Nom nominate... That, that's the right. I was going to say narrate. But that's not the right word at all. If he nominates himself, I'm calling sexism. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me. Oh, so I'm in charge of the two women. Is that, is that how it's going to be, Junpei? Uh, Same reaction. You're in charge. What? But, but she's a girl. Junpei. Christ, dude. Well, she has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like she can? Can you threaten to kill yourself with the with the speed and confidence that she can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. Alright, let's head inside. Are you ready? Uh, yes. <laughs> That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Da 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 da. Going to hell. Do, 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 do. Oh, 
Hello, strange blue door. What's the matter? I'm hallucinating a blue door, Yukari. It's okay. the rest of them can see this door. I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The game has officially started to where things will happen. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably. You are not yet capable of answering these questions. Then why did you ask me? The hell? That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. You have the wild card because you are the protagonist. Um, <laughs> I don't want to know. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You call me nothing, Igor? What you doing? Don't have words. You are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. Mm. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. We'll see that later. Ah, but before I forget... Like later as in, like in 10, 15 minutes later. Do you recall when I mentioned another resident of this room? Yeah, I think so. Tell me, when you think of this person, what do you see? Hmm. Now this is that thing I, I, I alluded to in the first set. In Persona 3 Portable, in, in the female version in particular, you have the option of picking a male assistant for Igor, or, or the same Elizabeth female person. We're going to pick the guy, because it's different than the other playthrough in every way possible. I see. Then let's bring him out for a proper introduction. Oh, I was right. Or are there just two people you were waiting for me to pick, to pick the gender? My name is Theodore, but please, feel free to call me Theo. You have a tiny stewardess hat. It's a pleasure to meet you. My assistant will aid you as well. Until then, farewell. Now there we had the option between Theo or Elizabeth. Elizabeth is the same girl from um, Persona 3, the regular one. She's basically an eccentric, clueless girl. And hey, are you alright? Theo is an eccentric, clueless guy. Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Brains? Like, well, don't worry, I wouldn't worry too much, Jinpei. You're safe. That's what you picked to dwell on? Yes. Makes me sound less crazy that way. Oh, I get it. You're trying to yank my chain here. See? I'm not crazy, I'm just... a prankster. Don't worry, though. I got you covered whenever you need it, man. I am not a man... well, I, I'm a man in... You know what I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Come on, let's go. So you almost caught me saying I'm not a man. Ha ha! I said it anyway. Damn. Oh, good. Status menus. This is our save point in this game. It's a clock. Uh, we can look at uh, Mi uh, Mi uh, Mitsuo's bike. It's... I'm sorry, I had Chinese food before I recorded. This we'll talk about later since we can't use it right now. But let's look at the uh, options here. We have Orpheus, because Orpheus is basic and crap. 
Uh, it's weak against two things, which is bad. Uh, we'll be getting rid of Orpheus as soon as possible. For something that doesn't suck. And in this version of the game, unlike in the unlike unlike in Persona 3 for the PS2, you can look at your team's status out of the menu. Uh, you can eventually look at, look at your entire team. Uh, your entire party will be listed here. But for right now, we only have these three people, so we're only going to these three people. Uh, we have three uh, social stats: uh, the uh, the academic, the charm, and courage. Instead of the five that were in Persona 4, we can look at our persona or look to someone else's persona. Uh, Yukari is uh, effectively our Yosuke of this game. She can heal and do stuff like that and has wind magic. Except she's a lot better than Yosuke. And uh, Hermes, who is Junpei's uh, thing, is kind of like a fiery Chie. More focused on physical attacks and fire magic. Uh, we're not going to see Hermes get very good, because uh, I'm not going to use Junpei, because I don't like him. He's not very good. Uh, he has a dual-handed weapon, uh, and Yukari has a bow. And we have our Naganada that makes complete sense for a schoolgirl to be wielding. Uh, oh, and we can use the skills of our party members from, from, from the menu. This... This this game, guys. If you're going to get Persona 3, get get portable. It's so much better than the other one. They've fixed all the problems that I have with it. As a matter of fact, we're actually going to show another fix once I get into the dungeon. Uh, sure. I guess I'll go into the to the, to the demon door. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Oh, we should be fine, Yukari. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? You're talking into a soup can? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. And wait, if everything's... If everything powers down during the dark hour, how are you using a walkie-talkie? I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. Speaking of, holy shit! They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right! Got it. Right. Why is she always like that? What, being, being encouraging or bossy or whatever? Personality? I, I yes, I know how to fight. I know how to fight. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Stuff's old. Now, I know what a shadow is, I know how to fight it. Now, in Persona 3, you can, s just like in Persona 4, you can slap enemies to catch them off guard before they uh, hit you. Not think that's good enough. It's not. Takeba has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Got a lot clearer. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? No, I know what I'm doing. Okay, then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. Can I just have one action per turn? Huh. Anyway, one thing we're going to change here right off the bat is tactics. Now, unlike in Persona 3, regular, we're going, we can change it from Act Freely, which is typically the worst thing you can have your team do. Um, well, it depends, actually. I mean, your team does get pretty intelligent, but then some characters later on are just... face palmingly stupid. I will explain their AI when we get full assault is false, just, just attack as hard as fast as you can, but have, conserve SP, basically they'll just auto-attack, heal support, will 
obvious and direct commands. This is what we this is what we can't do in regular Persona 3, but you can in this game. So direct commands. God, I feel so much better already. Okay. Anyway, this Maya is pathetic. Commit suicide and kill it. A wisely chosen attack. Here's our chance for an all out attack! Let me at him! Well, that was easy, wasn't it? Ah, uh, that was easy. 